Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And in today's episode, the topic is, should the Clippers be the title favorites if they resign everyone? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Also, make sure you go ahead and check out Dreamers Pro Max, an online sports community, a place where you can start basketball discussions chat live during games and so many other cool things so if you guys are interested in that be sure to check that out we have that link in the description below and also make sure you click the join button and become a member of the channel anyway let me get into this topic here so free agency is right around the corner literally <laughs> right around the corner uh so i said this would be a perfect time to get into uh this topic here now things have already started happening right as far as a, a free agency the biggest news so far was the acquisition of Russell Westbrook by the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, this had been something that had been percolating in the back. Uh, I mean, in the background, we've been, you know, rumors had been kind of um, swirling around the last few days, or let's say uh, just over a week or, or so. People have people have been discussing the idea of the Lakers possibly signing him. I know we also heard about them possibly acquiring uh, DeMar DeRozan. That was also something that was there. Um, DeMar DeRozan went on the Shannon Sharp podcast. Uh, um, Uncle Shea Shea or Club Shea Shea, he spoke about how he felt he could see it. He could see, you know, uh, himself fitting in on that team. Ultimately, the Lakers decided to ended up going and si to sign with, um, uh, I mean, uh, going up, <laughs> ended up signing Russell Westbrook. So that was the first big splash uh, that, 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 that has happened so far. We knew the Lakers were they, they had to do something, right? They just couldn't stand pat. I think the Lakers looked at the landscape of the Western Conference and said to themselves, listen, we need a little bit more depth. We need a little bit more talent. And we need to get a little bit better, right? Um, especially especially if one of our stars get injured, we need an insurance policy. And I think that that was something that went into them making that decision to go ahead and try to trade for Russell Westbrook. Now, they did lose a lot of their depth. They lost uh, Kyle Kuzma, KCP. Montres Harrell, but Montres Harrell didn't really play, although he was the former sixth man of the year. So he was he was um you know he 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 was a great player, and you can tell that the Lakers right now are trying to go all in at least on this season, right? They're trying to capture a championship this year, and I and I and, and I have a strong feeling that they're not done making moves yet because they have to fill out their roster right now because it's um it's 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 a little bit um it's uh the the roster right now is a is it's like a bare skeleton. Right now, if you just if you just look at their three stars and you look at everything else, that roster is nowhere ready right now to become a, a championship team. But they have a good foundation in, the, in those three uh, cornerstones that they have. So since that acquisition, I think the Clippers have kind of been lost in the mix. No one seems to be discussing the Clippers anymore. And quite frankly, they seem they seem to be forgotten. Now, to be fair, most of the other teams in the NBA seem to be forgotten. But for, 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 for the purposes of this video here, I think the Lakers have been forgotten. I think a lot of people forgot what just happened in uh in the western conference and the lakers you know they had a very 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 solid playoff run their best ever right because they were able to make it to it um to the to, to the to the conference finals that was the first time that team had ever done that and as of now i think what we're starting to hear right there or right now or at least uh the narrative that seems to be, be that seems to be being pushed right now is that we're looking at the lakers versus the nets in the finals this seems to be what the NBA is trying to gear toward this season as one of his plot uh, as one of his plots uh, going into this season. A lot of people say, well, they feel like the Lakers can come out of the Western Conference, although the roster is not really they haven't filled out their roster yet. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming some people are saying that, given the fact that they feel that the Lakers are going to be able to make um, some moves. So a lot of people seem to feel that, you know, the Lakers and the, the Nets are going to be in the finals. But for me, going into last season, I felt I felt that the Clippers and the Lakers were the two best teams in the Western Conference. I said that all season long. But after watching the Clippers perform in the playoffs just this previous season, I I I, I took a more definitive approach. I, I took a, a more definitive stance as far as which team I thought was the best team in the Western Conference. And as of now, I think that the Clippers, or at least at, since the playoffs ended, in the Western Conference, excuse me, I think the Clippers were the best team in the Western Conference. I think they showed that they had the most depth. Uh, they were the mentally toughest team. And they were a very, very versatile team that just could figure out ways to keep winning. And they definitely, and they had one of the best coaches in the NBA, or arguably the best coach in the NBA, and Tyron Lue, who is, a, who, is a, who is a magician at making adjustments. Now, the news, the, the latest news on the Clippers right now as we speak is that Serge Ibaka picked up his player option for $9.7 million. Now, we all know Serge Ibaka missed a plethora of games last season 
due to a back injury that he sustained. So it caused him to miss the playoffs. I think he only played one game in the playoffs. Then he went off to have a back surgery. But Serge Ibaka basically didn't play. He was injured all year long. So he picked up his player option. So Serge Ibaka is going to be coming back uh, this season. However, they still have some more important pieces to sign. And those pieces are... Reggie Jackson, Nicholas Batum. Reggie Jackson, who I was wrong about during the regular season. In the playoffs, he proved all of us wrong. He proved me wrong, especially me. At least I was one of the people that doubted him. And he turned into Mr. June, right? He was, I mean, Reggie Jackson was sensational uh, in the playoffs. And um, he's an important piece. And of course, we have Nicholas Batum. So before I go too far, I want you guys to take a listen to a quick soundbite of the team president, Lawrence, France, Lawrence Frank, talking about Kawhi Leonard, Reggie Jackson, and Nicholas Batum, and, 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 and his intent to try to bring back all of these guys. So before we go too far, take a listen to that. You know, in, uh, in a general sense, without a doubt, and you respect the fact that they're free agents. We want them back as, as Clippers. We respect that they have a choice to make, but we also uh, hope to have, you know, in Kawhi's case, a very long-term relationship with him uh, and know that, you know, he, he has a process. But, and right now our focus for Kawhi, just like his is, is on his health. Uh, he had major surgery, he tore his ACL. So it's, that's gonna require a great deal of time and we wanna support him in that. Uh, with Reggie, uh, Reggie was terrific. Uh, and Reggie's such a, a great, great story. When you think about, you know, how things changed for him in 12 months after the bubble to then come in and, and the different roles and then eventually starting and then what he did in the playoffs and the run he had, uh, it, it makes you really, really happy for him. We'd like to bring Reggie back. We'd like to bring Nico back. Serge is a free agent. We hope he opts in. Uh, we have other free agents as well, so we'll we'll continue to go through it. Obviously, the you know once August second hits, we can we can start the free agent process. But we're we're hopeful that we can continue to have continuity and, and guys want to want to be here. Uh, now, in that soundbite, you'll hear him discuss that you know Kawhi Leonard had a serious injury, and you know they want him. Uh, he spoke about what Reggie Jackson was able to do for the team just last year in the playoffs and how 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 special of a run he had. And he also spoke about Nicholas Batum. He basically said that he wants to bring back all of his key players. As I said, they just brought back Serge Ibaka. So that's good news um, because I, I definitely like Serge. Just that unfortunately he was unhealthy. He was unhealthy and DeMarcus Cousins was able to really fill in nicely for Serge Ibaka. And I think they'll probably bring back DeMarcus Cousins. I'm not sure, but he really filled in nicely and he brought a lot of versatility and size off the bench with a lot of toughness and grit. So I liked I liked what DeMarcus Cousins brought to the equation. So I like that. Um, but as of now, it seems to be that the Clippers want to bring back all of these guys. How they're going to make this work on, a, on, on the monetary side, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I guess we have to wait and see how all of these things kind of work out. But if the Clippers are able to bring back these two guys, and then resign Kawhi Leonard, who I still believe is the best player in the world, although he's injured. If they bring back Kawhi and Kawhi Leonard is healthy by the time he comes back and the Clippers or one of the teams going into the playoffs, I would pick the Clippers to come out of the Western Conference. I would. I would have them at the very top because I saw what they were able to do with Kawhi and without him. This team, as I said, had no business making it to the Western Conference Finals once they lost their best player. Most teams would have been demoralized um, emotionally and somehow, some way, they were able to pull themselves together, galvanize around each other and continue to march on. And Ty Lue kept on making adjustment after adjustment. And he really proved that, listen, he knew he knew what the heck he was doing out there. So if they bring back Kawhi Leonard and he's healthy and he's rested, you know, and, they, and they're able to get him into, into basketball shape before the playoffs come around, I think, listen, I would pick the Clippers. I would have all my money on them. Now, I think the West is going to be tough. We saw a lot of things. I think the Utah Jazz are going to be legit. I think the Denver Nuggets are going to be better with Jamal Murray back. I think the Western Conference is going to be a gauntlet. Again, I think Phoenix is going to be right there, but we have to wait and see what happens with Chris Paul. But of all those teams, I will still put the Clippers at the very top of that heat. They will be at the top. Because I think that they're still going to be the deepest team in the Western Conference. And given the fact that the Lakers traded away so much of their depth just to acquire Russell Westbrook, I think it just, it's just going to add to that. I think they have pieces that fit perfectly. I think Paul, George, and Kawhi Leonard's games complement each other perfectly. No one has a question about that. I think they're still probably going to be the best three-point shooting team in the NBA. They're going to come into this season with more confidence, given the fact that they had their longest playoff run ever. And they did a lot of that, or a decent amount of that, without their best player in Kawhi Leonard. I think Kawhi Leonard coming back this season is going to look at these guys and say to himself, wait a minute, I, I have a confident group here. 
right? I have a competent group that has been through some things that I think are ready now to get the job done because listen, they haven't finished business. If Kawhi Leonard was healthy, they would be in the NBA finals, but you could say the same thing about a lot of teams. So I'm not going to use that, use that as an excuse. You could say the exact same thing about the Brooklyn Nets. If Kyrie Irving, and Ir Irving was healthy and James Harden was himself, they would probably be in the NBA finals. So I can't use that as an excuse. However, I will say this. If they bring back these guys, if Kawhi Leonard is healthy, I think they're the best team going in the Western Conference. Now, this is my opinion, but uh, I, and, and, and an opinion that I think some people are going to concur with. However, some people may say other teams, but for me, I just think this is going to be the best team. If they resign everyone and they bring this, this group back and they run it again. Because I think what we all saw in the playoffs was this team is legit. This team is legit. Paul George is going to be the he's going to be the clear cut leader until Kawhi Leonard gets back. I think he's going to flourish. He did a fantastic job leading the team. Even last season when when Kawhi Leonard went down in the month of August, I mean the month of April, he did his thing. Paul George did his thing. So listen, I think they have everything that it takes uh, to compete. They bring back everybody. I think ultimately at the end they will be the best team in the Western Conference unless something unforeseen happens. And I think they should. By the way, I think they should let Rondo walk. Those are my thoughts and opinions. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think? What do you guys think? Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.